Fei Lu Novel Network A. Level Contracted Novel. Peak of Fire Shadow Pupil Technique, this is a world of ninjas, an era full of war. Under the prosperity and strength of great nations lies the silent and sorrowful cries of small nations. In this hypocritical world, true peace has never been born, and the chains of hatred tightly bind this world. The third ninja war has just ended, and the story unfolds from this moment. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Children in the Snow You are listening at NovelFull.audio The gloomy and sunless sky made the atmosphere of this land extremely oppressive. White snowflakes slowly drifted down from the sky, covering the entire land, forests, and distant peaks with pure and flawless white snow. This is a world wrapped in silver. At this moment, the sound of footsteps on the snow slowly came from afar, adding a touch of vitality to this quiet world. In the falling snow, a small figure slowly walked from afar, and the sound of footsteps gradually became clear. This figure also slowly emerged. This is a little boy around seven or eight years old, who is very handsome. He has short black hair, bangs on both sides of his cheeks, and the bangs on his forehead cover his right eye. His black pupils are very agile, with some highlights flashing through them. Wearing a black cotton jacket, with a small axe pinned to the brown waistband, and a bundle of firewood fixed with a thin rope on his back, it was clear that the little boy had just returned from firewood. At this moment, a lot of snow had already accumulated on his head and body. Ha! Huh. He slowly exhaled a breath of white air, shook his body, rubbed his hands to drive away the cold air. The little boy looked up at the dark sky and muttered to himself, It's already so late, we need to go back quickly, otherwise father will worry again. As soon as the words fell, the little boy took another step and accelerated his pace with the firewood on his back. In no time, his whole body slowly disappeared into the endless snowfall. Under a large mountain, I don't know when many lights have already lit up. This is a remote small village in the land of water. There is no distinction between the four seasons and it is covered with snow all year round. At this moment, the sky had already darkened, and a little boy wearing a black cotton jacket with a large bundle of firewood on his back gradually appeared at the entrance of the small village. He exhaled gently, wiped away the hot sweat from his head, and a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, saying, Finally back, father must be very worried. At this moment, a crisp and pleasant voice suddenly appeared in the young man's ear, Meow, MMM. The young man was momentarily stunned and turned his head to look. He saw a six or seven year old girl standing at the entrance of the village, looking at him with concern on her face. This little girl has a head of black smooth long hair, big bright eyes like water, a snow dot white face, and is dressed in a white winter coat. Standing in the snow, she appears incredibly pure and noble, like an angel born in the snow. However, at this moment, her pretty face has turned red from the cold, indicating that she has been waiting for herself in this icy and snowy world for a long time. Seeing the girl's concerned and worried gaze, a gentle smile appeared on the boy's face named Meow, and he said, Bye, I'm back. The girl pounced into the boy's arms and looked at his face with great concern, saying, isn't it okay to follow the adults out to fetch firewood when the snow stops? We must enter the mountain alone, and it's still snowing so heavily. The young man suddenly felt embarrassed and didn't know what to say. He remembered that he had promised the girl not to leave the village alone a few days ago, but today he broke his promise. Even if the young man had thick skin, he felt very embarrassed. All right, I promise you, I will definitely follow the adults next time I go out, the little boy gently touched the girl's soft long hair and said softly. Every time I say that, the little girl pursed her lips, puffed her face, and said discontentedly, looking extremely cute, showcasing the child's nature to the fullest. Hee <laughs> hee. Meow awkwardly smiled, unsure of what to say. At this moment, Bai seemed to remember something and said to the boy, by the way, Uncle has been waiting for you at home. Go back quickly. 
Although he didn't say anything, uncle is very worried about you. Upon hearing Bai's words, the young man's face immediately changed and he said anxiously, Yes, my father has probably been waiting for a long time. I need to go back quickly. Bai, have you had dinner yet? If not, come to our house to eat. It's okay, I've already eaten. You go back quickly, Bai said gently as he looked at Miao. Hmm, I know, Bai, see you tomorrow. Miao lightly tapped the girl's head and quickly rushed towards home. Bai stood still, quietly watching the boy's distant figure. In the village, many houses are arranged in rows on both sides of the road, and there are dim electric lights hanging in front of the door outside. Against the backdrop of the snow, it looks particularly artistic. However, at this moment, Miao doesn't have the mood to appreciate these things. He is running quickly on the snow-covered road. In the depths of the village, among the many houses, there was an inconspicuous small room, which was Miao's home. After taking a few breaths, Miao gently pushed open the door and slowly walked in. The room was very simple, with a faint light hanging from the ceiling. A person sat quietly on a stool next to the table in the center of the small living room. He was a middle-aged man with black hair and a pale face that seemed to have been seriously ill. His handsome face was covered in frost and wind, and his black pupils seemed to have no focal length. The edges of his pupils were slightly white, wearing a black kimono, this person is Miao's father, named Hayabusa. Father, I'm back. Looking at his pale face sitting at the table, Miao's heart seemed to be touched by something. He put down the firewood and spoke softly. I'm back, today I ran out alone to chop firewood again. Be careful in the future, that little girl Bai is very worried about you. She has come to our house several times today to find you. The middle-aged man smiled slightly and spoke slowly, although his tone was plain, the concern in his words did not overflow. Got it, father. I'll pay attention in the future, Miao said gently, then picked up the fixed firewood and walked towards the kitchen. I'm going to cook now. The middle-aged man's unfocused pupils looked at the boy's back as he walked towards the kitchen, lost in thought, unsure of what he was thinking. In no time, a wave of warm air gradually filled the room. Miao had already started burning firewood to keep warm, while a fragrance filled the room. At this moment, the wooden table in the living room had already set up the food, with two bowls of steaming rice, a plate of shrimp, two grilled fish, a large bowl of cooked vegetable stew, and two bowls of miso soup. This was the dinner for the father and son. Although it was cold outside, it was particularly warm inside. Dinner was quietly eaten, and neither of them spoke. The room appeared particularly quiet, with only occasional sounds of firewood burning. At this moment, the middle-aged man gently put down the dishes in his hand and looked at Miao slowly speaking, how well do you master the sword technique in your hand? After taking a sip of miso soup, Miao lifted his head and looked at his father's face. He spoke softly, it's okay, it's guaranteed to hit the blind spot, under my writing will eyes. As soon as he finished speaking, Miao's previously black pupils began to change instantly, and the crimson color filled his entire eyeballs. Two black jade dots slowly rotated around a black dot within the crimson eyeballs. Writing Will Eyes You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. At this moment, the boy's eyes instantly turned crimson, with two black jade particles slowly rotating around a black dot within the crimson eyeballs. The entire eye appeared extremely eerie and mysterious, as if there was a deep and bottomless vortex that could suck the soul into it. If a ninja with wooden leaves sees a boy's eyes here, they will definitely exclaim loudly, Uchiha, right will eyes. Not bad, Miao's eyes are the blood inheritance limit Sharingan of the Murayama ninja clan in the Fire Kingdom, and one of the three major pupil techniques in the ninja realm. The middle-aged man looked at Miao's Sharingan with unfocused eyes, without any hint of surprise, clearly knowing that Miao had already activated Sharingan. Being able to open the Sharingan at the age of less than seven, or the double Guyu Sharingan, is definitely the most outstanding talent, 
worthy of being my son, the middle-aged man said with a gentle smile. Miao remained silent for a moment, then her crimson sharingan stared tightly at her father and slowly spoke, Father, you should know that what I want to hear is not that. The middle-aged man was taken aback when he heard Miao's words, and a look of shock flashed across his face. Then he seemed to think of something, and a hint of sadness flashed across his face. His unfocused, white pupils drooped slightly. Have you guessed anything based on your intuition? The middle-aged man remained silent for a long time before slowly speaking, his voice somewhat hoarse. Miao's heart twitched slightly. Of course, he knew what his father meant by what he said. In fact, he not only guessed, but also knew something because he was not an ordinary child, and his soul was not from this world. In his past life, he was a top-notch assassin. As a hidden assassin in the dark world, he constantly traveled around the world, completing various dangerous missions. As a popular anime in that world, he had certainly watched Naruto, but he didn't watch much. He only looked at the front part, from the beginning of the establishment of Class 7 to the later part where he also searched for Tsunade, who taught Naruto Spiral Maru, and I still watched it intermittently, I haven't even seen the subsequent gust of wind. Although he has seen very little, he still knows some basic things, such as the Kanoha Ninja Village and the Uchiha Clan's blood inheritance limit Sharingan. It is precisely because he knows this intelligence that he appears very puzzled. He has the Uchiha Clan's blood inheritance limit Sharingan, which means that he is a member of the Uchiha Clan, so he should be in the Kanoha Ninja Village of the Fire Country, but he himself is very clear, he was born in the Land of Water, so he really wants to know what the reason is. In the previous life, I had no name, no friends, no family, no past, no future, only a so dot called code name, like a ghost wandering in the world. But it can be seen that my father is a person with a story, and he has no meaning to say, so I cannot ask more. For me now, my father is the most important person, and his love for me makes me feel a warmth that I have never felt before. After all, Sharingan belongs to the realm of pupillary surgery and he speculates that it may be due to his exceptionally large spiritual power. At the age of just six, he accidentally opened Sharingan, and his eyes were still full of jade. At that time, Miao himself was completely shocked, and only then did he realize that he had the bloodline of the Uchiha clan. However, he didn't know whether this bloodline came from his father or mother. Perhaps both of his parents were members of the Uchiha clan. At that time, he wanted to ask his father for clarification, so he revealed his Sharingan eyes. At that time, my father was extremely shocked when he saw the Sharingan in Miao's eyes. At the age of six, he opened the Sharingan, which had never appeared in the Uchiha clan. Even the former Uchiha clan leader and one of the strongest ninjas in the ninja world, Uchiha Ban, only opened the Sharingan at the age of eight. At that time, his father fell silent and didn't say anything, just a thick sadness and concern flashed on his face. Miao saw that his father didn't want to say anything, so he suppressed his curiosity and didn't ask much. However, his father still warned Miao very seriously not to show his Sharingan in front of outsiders, so only the father and son knew about Miao's Sharingan. Today, Miao couldn't help but feel curious in his heart. He once again revealed his Sharingan, which was very obvious. He wanted to ask the reason for these eyes. Before opening his Sharingan, Miao didn't know he belonged to the Uchiha clan, and his father had told Miao before that he was a wandering ninja who traveled around the world. Because he was tired of killing, he finally came to this peaceful village and settled down, afterwards, she gave birth to herself with her mother, but her mother passed away due to difficult childbirth. Looking back now, things are not that simple at all. Father has hidden a lot of things from him. The sound of wood burning echoed intermittently in the room, appearing exceptionally clear in this quiet room. Taking a deep breath, it seemed as if he had figured something out. A slight smile appeared on the corner of the falcon's mouth, and he looked gently at Miao, who was quietly looking at him, slowly speaking, he said, since you were sensible, I have felt that you are different from ordinary children. You have a maturity and calmness that far surpasses that of children of the same age. 
I started teaching you how to extract chakras when you were five years old, and opened the writing wheel eyes of the Uchiha clan at the age of six. With your qualifications, I should have thought of such a day long ago. Miao was slightly taken aback, then his expression became serious and he spoke, So, father, are you willing to tell me about you? With a slight sigh, the falcon slowly spoke up and said, There's no point in keeping it a secret anymore. The secret discovered is no longer a secret. Taking a deep breath, the falcon slowly spoke up and said, As you think, I am not an ordinary ninja, and your bloodline is not the bloodline of the Water Kingdom or some lesser known bloodline, but the bloodline of the Uchiha clan in the Wood Leaf Ninja Village of the Fire Kingdom. The Sharingan is the symbol of the Uchiha clan. Miao listened quietly without speaking, only a hint of understanding flashed on his face. He guessed correctly that his parents were indeed related to Mai. And I am the elite of the Uchiha clan, Shangren. Your bloodline is inherited from me. The falcon spoke slowly, his tone somewhat bleak, his unfocused eyes quietly looking out the window at the falling snowflakes and the flickering light in the distance, as if recalling something. My mother is also. Miao asked curiously, it's not what you think. The falcon interrupted Miao's words and slowly spoke, Your mother is not from the Uchiha clan, but this is the source of everything. Chapter 3 Reasons You are listening at NovelFull.audio The sound of wood burning occasionally echoed in the quiet room, and the falcon calmly began to recount his past. Your mother is not from the Uchiha clan, and this is the source of everything that happened, the falcon said calmly. Hmm. Does my mother have a special identity? Miao asked with some confusion. It's a bit special because your mother has the blood of the Whirlpool clan. The falcon slowly spoke, his tone appearing somewhat sad. The Whirlpool clan. Miao's face suddenly flashed with a hint of surprise, because he knew that the protagonist of Naruto Naruto was called the Whirlpool Naruto. Is there any connection between them? The cause of this incident can be traced back to the Warring States period before the establishment of Kiba. The Uchiha clan and the Mori Chiba clan were originally the two most powerful races of the Warring States period, but at the same time, these two races were also world enemies. It can be said that they were two naturally hostile ninja clans, who have been constantly fighting and accumulating countless hatred since ancient times. However, at that time, the Uchiha clan leader and the strongest ninja of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Ban, and the god of ninjas, also known as the first Hokage Chiba, reached an agreement for unknown reasons, which led to the two clans as world enemies joining forces to end the chaotic era. We established the Kiba Ninja Village, which was the original Kiba Ninja Village, said the Hayabusa calmly. So it's like this, is this the origin of the wood leaf? Miao said in some surprise. It turned out that the Uchiha clan and the Sodot called Thousand-Handed clan had such a fate. But what does this have to do with my mother? Miao asked curiously, the Whirlpool clan is also a powerful tribe, skilled in sealing, with a huge chakra. Moreover, this tribe is a distant relative of the Thousand-Hand clan. In the past, it can be said that they were connected to the Thousand Hand clan with the same energy and intermarriage was also very frequent, especially in the Warring States period before the establishment of Kiba. The Thousand Hand clan was able to suppress the Uchiha clan to the death, which is inseparable from the strong support of the Whirlpool clan. Therefore, the Uchiha clan is very hostile to the Whirlpool clan as a distant relative of the Thousand Hand clan. The Hayabusa was helpless. Sighed. I see, was it the Uchiha clan who forced our family? Miao also guessed some reasons upon hearing this, his eyes suddenly cold, and he spoke low. For this reason, Uchiha and Chisho can be said to be at odds with each other. Even when establishing the Kiba Ninja Village, there were constant struggles, but it turned from a direct battle in the Warring States period to a power struggle within the village. The hatred between the two tribes can be said to have never been resolved, especially regarding the dispute over the first Okage. The small and large ninja families and villagers in the village almost one-dot-sided supported Chisho Zhujian to become the first Okage. 
Therefore, Uchiha failed to leave Kiba in the political struggle, and eventually led to the end of the famous ninja world, the Battle of the Valley. This is the origin between Chisho and Uchiha. The Falcon slowly spoke up. As an elite ninja of the Uchiha clan, I participated in the Third Ninja War for Kiba and saved your mother during the war. However, at that time, I did not know that she was an orphan of the Vortex clan. Gradually, I developed feelings for her and even violated the Uchiha clan's rules by marrying her. In the end, we had you, and it was only after returning to Kiba village that it was confirmed that she had the blood of the Vortex clan. The Hayabusa's unfocused gaze at this point stirred up a rare wave. So the Uchiha clan persecuted their mother, right? Miao sighed deeply, and he had already roughly guessed the outcome of the situation. Not bad, but because your mother has the bloodline of the Whirlpool clan, they don't want to see your mother for two reasons. The first reason is your mother's identity as a Whirlpool clan, and the second reason is the arrogance in the bloodline of the Uchiha clan. They don't allow their bloodline to be defiled, because even among the Uchiha clan, only a very small number of people have successfully opened their eyes to the Uchiha clan's bloodline. The probability of pure bloodline Uchiha clan having an eye is so low, let alone mixed-blooded. If you grow up and then open your eyes with a woman from the Uchiha clan, if combined, the probability of the offspring being born will be lower. Such behavior of diluting bloodline is absolutely not allowed by them. In fact, it is not only the Uchiha clan that is like this, but other bloodline lineage families have such a rule, but they are not as arrogant and extreme as the Uchiha clan. After your mother became pregnant, they even asked me to take you out of her belly, but I didn't agree. Therefore, in order to protect your mother, I had a falling out or even a breakup with the entire family, because the wife of the first Hokage was also a member of the Vortex clan, and the former Vortex clan had a very close connection with Kiba village, so the Uchiha clan didn't dare to go too far. At this point, the Hayabusa's tone began to become excited, and even Miao, who was listening nearby, could clearly feel the hatred in his father's heart. Although I broke up with the family to protect your mother, I have never regretted it. In order to avoid being looked down upon by the family, I moved out of the family's settlement with your pregnant mother and settled in the ordinary area of Kiba. However, something unexpected happened. Hayabusa's tone gradually calmed down, and his eyes instantly became extremely sharp. Hmm. Miao looked at her father in confusion, the senior management of Kiba intervened. They saw the right moment for me and the Uchiha clan to have a standoff, and their goal was your mother. No, more precisely, it was you inside your mother's belly. The falcon took a deep breath and a hint of coldness flashed on his face. What? Why would the target be me? Miao's face suddenly froze, and he asked somewhat inexplicably. This starts with the relationship between the Uchiha clan and the Uchiha clan. Since the establishment of Muba village, the relationship between the Uchiha clan and the Uchiha high dot ranking officials has always been bad. Due to the rebellion of Uchiha ban, the Uchiha high dot ranking officials have been deeply wary of the Uchiha clan. During the period of the second Hokage, the Uchiha clan was appointed as the head of the Uchiha security team. Although it nominally increased the power of the Uchiha clan and showed trust in the Uchiha clan, it actually excluded the Uchiha clan from the power center and blatantly drove the Uchiha clan's gathering place to the village. On the edge, the Uchiha clan was also dissatisfied with the dominance of the Chiba clan over the Kiba clan, which further fueled the conflict between the Uchiha clan and the senior management of the Kiba clan. After the death of the second generation Hokage, this situation became even more severe. Almost all of the senior management of the Kiba clan were from the Chiba clan, and the third generation Hokage and the senior advisors of the Kiba clan were all disciples of the second generation Hokage's Chiba clan. They also inherited Chiba's ideas and had no trust in the Uchiha clan. However, due to the war period at that time, this conflict was temporarily suppressed. The Falcon Man looked at Miao and slowly spoke up. However, Due to the attitude of the high dot ranking officials in Kiba, 
the other ninja communities and villagers were also inadvertently influenced, leading to exclusion and distrust towards the Uchiha clan. Therefore, the Uchiha clan may appear to be prosperous, but in the context of the decline of the Chiba clan, they are known as the number one clan in the ninja world. However, in fact, life within Kiba is also very difficult. The Falcon Man said sarcastically. My claims to be the most peaceful and prosperous village among the five great powers, and claims to have the will of fire to the outside world. However, the more peaceful the exterior, the more turbulent the interior, and the more constant the fighting. My, including the Uchiha clan, has already decayed. Now that the war has ended, the fighting among my must have become even more intense. Miao pondered for a moment before his eyes became cold. So, the reason why Mu Yi took action against me and my mother is not bad, because your surname is Uchiha, but it is possible to inherit the bloodline of the Whirlpool clan. The bloodline of the Whirlpool clan not only has strong vitality and a huge chakra, but their physique can also suppress the tailed beast. A member of the Uchiha clan inherits both the bloodline boundaries of the Whirlpool clan and Uchiha clan. You should understand what this means for the high dot level Kiba, who are in sharp opposition to the Uchiha clan. Everything has two sides. As a mixed race, you may inherit both bloodlines at the same time, but it is also possible that due to impure bloodlines, both bloodlines cannot be awakened. However, for the high dot ranking members of the Kanoha clan, danger must be suppressed in the cradle. As long as the probability is not zero, it must be eradicated. Except for the third generation Hokage who opposes this proposal, all other advisors agree with this decision. The most positive one is a Kanoha clan named Tuanzang, the leader of Kanoha Gen, known as Kanoha's Dark Guy. All actions against your mother and you are proposed and planned by this guy. The tone of the Hayabusa had already become extremely sharp. A terrifying aura slowly emanated from him. Chapter 4 Anger You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Tuan Zhang. Miao murmured to herself in confusion, her eyes gradually becoming cold. Where is my mother now? she said with a slightly excited tone. The Hayabusa let out a deep sigh and slowly spoke up, because they are not favored by the Uchiha clan, there is no need for any concern from the high dot ranking officials of Kiba to take action against your mother. I thought your mother's identity as a member of the Whirlpool clan would be protected by the high dot ranking officials of Kiba, but I didn't expect them to be a fierce group of wolves. Even if the third Hokage opposes this, Tuanzang, as the dark of Kiba and the third Hokage, is always at odds with each other. Even if it's the third Hokage, they won't listen to what they believe. Moreover, the most important thing is that the senior management of Kiba does not know what agreement has been reached with the Uchiha clan, and it is estimated that they have paid a political price. Therefore, when Kiba took action against our family, the Uchiha clan did not provide us with any protection, not only because Kiba's senior management paid some political price, but also because the Uchiha clan also wanted you to die. At this point, the tone of the Hayabusa became extremely sharp, and a strong hatred immediately emanated. The originally unfocused pupils instantly turned incredibly crimson. Three black goblins were spinning rapidly in their crimson pupils, and it was the three goblins that wrote the wheel eye. Miao was immediately surprised and relieved. As an elite ninja of the Uchiha clan, it was only natural for the three goblins to write the wheel eye. But at that moment, cough, the cough instantly interrupted Miao's thinking. The falcon's face changed dramatically, and he immediately coughed up a mouthful of blood. Father. Miao's face changed greatly, and she quickly stepped forward to support her father, her eyes full of worry. Father, what's wrong with you? At this moment, the falcon man's face was so pale that there was no trace of blood, as if he had just been diagnosed with a serious illness. He waved his hand to indicate that he had nothing to do, and looked at Miao slowly speaking, it's okay, it's just that he was too excited about something. It's all some old injuries from the past. Then he continued speaking, 
Afterwards, the Uchiha clan cooperated with the high dut ranking officials such as Tuanzang to ensure the killing of your mother and son, and even transferred me from your mother's side in the name of holding a clan meeting. I had already broken ties with the Uchiha clan, but due to my expectations and guilt for the Uchiha clan, I didn't expect so much at that time. Fortunately, there were still a few people in the Uchiha clan who opposed this act of selling out their people for profit, which reminded me at a critical moment. At this point, the falcon man looked at Miao and slowly spoke, then I rushed out of the gathering place. When I arrived home, a barrier had already been set by the roots of the leaves, and your mother was struggling to resist the attack of the root ninjas with you in her arms. Upon hearing this, Miao's fist clenched fiercely, making a bone friction gurgling sound. Afterwards, I killed a ninja who maintained the barrier at the base and rushed into the barrier. Your mother was already seriously injured, but she still desperately protected you who was still in her belly. Seeing your mother's painful appearance, I felt extremely remorseful and excruciating in my heart. At the same time, I also awakened a stronger force. Then, just as you imagined, I took your seriously injured mother and killed Kiba. As the Hayabusa spoke, tears welled up in her eyes. Although severely injured, your mother was not fatal due to her bloodline of the Whirlpool clan. She still survived with strength. In the following year, I took your mother on a short and long journey of escape. Along the way, countless ninjas at the root of the leaves, even the direct subordinates of Hokage, chased us. Fortunately, I awakened new strength and repelled them all. However, at the same time, I was also seriously injured and almost blind. The Hayabusa's eyes showed a hint of sadness, this is the fate of the Uchiha clan. While gaining powerful power, they will gradually move towards us. Darkness On the way to escape, your mother gave birth to you. However, due to the previous severe injury and the fact that your condition was far from healed, coupled with forced childbirth, your mother also died exhausted. In the end, I brought you, who was still a baby, to the Water Kingdom and lived in seclusion in this village. Due to the isolation of the Water Kingdom, it is almost impossible for external forces to penetrate this country, which also provides us with a protective umbrella. Upon hearing his mother die from exhaustion after leaving him, Miao gritted her lips tightly, blood flowing out of her mouth at some point. Her fist clenched tightly, my. Achiha. A group of seemingly despicable and shameless guys. She roared, and her hatred towards Mai and Uchiha suddenly became incredibly strong. Now I have told you all about your mother and my grudges with Kiba and the family, without any further concealment. Although you are still young, your maturity and calmness far exceed that of a child in this age group, and you also have the right to know about your mother. That's why I told you these things. I believe you won't be overwhelmed by hatred, said Hayabusa, looking at his son with a relieved expression. I understand. Miao took a deep breath and slowly lifted his head. At this moment, Miao slowly lifted a buried head, only to see that the original air Goyu in his crimson Sharingan had disappeared, replaced by three black Goyu spinning rapidly. Seeing that Miao's riding wheel eyes had turned into San Goyu, the falcon man's face suddenly changed. He looked at his son, whose face was cold at the moment, in shock. His eyes, which were even more bizarre and evil than before, contained an incredibly strong killing intent. I looked at my son in silence for a long time, let out a deep sigh, and then seemed to have made some decision. My voice was a bit hoarse, saying, I didn't want to tell you now, but your growth far exceeded my expectations. I changed my mind. At this moment, Miao's writing will eyes had gradually disappeared and turned back to black pupils. The burning pain in his eyes also slowly dissipated. Upon hearing his father's words, Miao looked at him in confusion. The most important secret about writing will eyes. Chapter 5 Water Country You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Water Kingdom is one of the five great powers in the ninja world holding an extremely high position in the entire ninja world. 
The other four countries, which are also known as the Five Great Powers, are Thunder Kingdom, Earth Kingdom, Wind Kingdom, and the most powerful Fire Kingdom among the Five Great Powers. The reason why these five great powers are called the five great powers is not only because of their vast land and resources far beyond other countries, but also because they have military strength that other countries cannot shake. This is a world of ninjas, and the strength of a country's ninjas symbolizes its military strength. These five countries were the first to establish ninja villages in the entire ninja world. Various ninjas, secret techniques, and numerous bloodline boundaries have built the profound heritage of the five great powers. In addition, the large population of each country continuously provides fresh blood for ninja villages, giving birth to more and more excellent ninjas, and the quality of their ninja villages is far superior to other ninja villages. The Kanoha ninja village in the Kingdom of Fire can be said to fully demonstrate this point. From the initial Uchiha, the Chiba Pillar, the Chiba Kagami, and the ninjutsu doctor's monkey flying sun slash, the Kanoha white fang, the three ninjas, and the later golden shining, it can be said that there are many strong people emerging. This is evident from the fact that the other four major ninja villages cannot compare with the Kanoha ninja village. It can be seen from the fact that the winners of the previous three ninja wars were all Kanoha. This is an era of numerous geniuses and strong individuals, an incredibly exciting and cruel era. The birth of a winner means the elimination of a loser, and every strong individual is born from the bones of the weak. The third ninja war has been over for several years now, and the whole world has gradually returned to peace. Every ninja village participating in the war is silently licking their wounds and accumulating strength, preparing for the next ninja war. The Water Kingdom is the only isolated country among the five great powers, which is inseparable from its geographical location. The entire country is an island nation, isolated overseas, and it is very difficult for other countries to attack the Water Kingdom. Therefore, although the Water Kingdom was not a victorious country in the Three Ninja Wars, it suffered the least losses. However, although the Water Kingdom suffered the least losses in the war, it was still very weak because its main losses were in the Civil War, and internal conflicts consumed the power of the entire country. Therefore, even in the Third Ninja War, Mist Hidden Village did not send too many ninjas to participate. Especially in recent years, the policies implemented by the fourth generation of Shueying in Wuin Village to erase the bloodline and limit boundaries, as well as the brutal persecution of meritorious elders and the cold-blooded to extreme ninja selection and advancement mechanism, have earned the title of Blood Mist Village throughout the entire ninja realm Wuin Village. Due to these reasons, many excellent ninjas have defected to Wuin village, which can be said to have the most rebellious tolerance among the five major powers. The civil war in the village is also more severe. In order to avoid being spied by other villages, the whole country is even more isolated than before, putting a more mysterious veil on this country. It is almost impossible for other countries to infiltrate this country on a large scale, with only a few spies operating in the water country. Due to being isolated overseas, transmitting intelligence is also very difficult. As its name suggests, the entire country is shrouded in a layer of white, cold mist. It seems that due to the blood mist policy, the mist contains a bloody smell. Due to the policy and environment, the ninjas in this country are also particularly cruel and cold. Blooded. The most famous one is the seven ninja people who make the ninja world scared. Thick fog enveloped the entire village and surrounding mountains, and the sky remained gloomy with no sunlight. The villagers gradually left, some starting to work, while others went out to the town to go to the market. A new day had already begun. At this moment, on a verdant grassland in the back mountain of the village, a young man wearing black short sleeves stood quietly in the center of the grassland. Although he was short in stature, his whole body gave a sense of stillness like a mountain. His black long hair extended to his neck, and the bangs on his forehead faintly covered his right eye. His eyes were tightly closed, as if something was brewing. At this moment, a gentle breeze blew through and lifted the hair that covered his right eye. 
The young man instantly opened his eyes, and among his crimson eyes, three black jade dots slowly rotated around a black dot, appearing extremely strange and mysterious. It was the Sharingan. At the same time, whoosh, the boy's body instantly disappeared into place, and a strong sense of killing swept across the entire grassland. The boy's figure instantly appeared on a big tree, and his right foot vigorously kicked on the trunk, causing his entire body to disappear once again. Shoo! At this moment, the young man's figure appeared in the sky, his body had already stretched out, and six kowu had appeared in his hands at some point, three in each of his left and right hands. The kowu's circular ring behind his hands collided fiercely with each other, ding! Sparks splattered everywhere, and his limbs shot out of the boy's hand like lightning. At this moment, the boy's body had slowly fallen, but he suddenly twisted his waist, and then the strength of his abdomen made his whole body briefly hover in the air. In that moment, the remaining two painless creatures in his hands were thrown out with force, faster than the painless creatures just shot out. Ding! The Kuwa shot from behind caught up with the two Kuwa in front and collided. Kuwa's limbs changed direction in an instant, and the collided Kuwa collided with the two Kuwa on the strongest side again, ding! Sparks splashed out, and six painless creatures shot out in six directions. Shoo! At this moment, the boy's body had already fallen to the ground, half squatting on the ground, and he suddenly opened the riding wheel eyes of San Goyu. He saw that the previous six Kowu had accurately hit the red dots marked on the surrounding trees, and even the red dot in a dead corner behind the rock was also accurately hit. It is the sword technique in the hands of the Uchiha clan. This young man is Miao, who is currently undergoing routine morning exercises. The young man slowly stood up and observed the surroundings, then a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. He was almost eight years old now, but the amount of chakra in his body had surpassed that of ordinary lower ninja, and even approached that of middle ninja. This was unimaginable for ordinary people, but it was not too difficult for him because he had the bloodline of two races, the Uchiha and the Vortex, especially the Vortex, which were known for their large chakra volume and tenacious vitality. Although the Uchiha clan is marked by the Sharingan and excels in pupillary techniques and fire evasion, as a blood inheritance limit clan, their chakra count is far inferior to that of the Vortex clan, but it is not comparable to that of ordinary people. The chakra count of ninjas carrying blood inheritance limit is generally much larger than that of ninjas of the same level. But at this moment, Miao suddenly remembered the secret of writing will eyes that his father had told him, and his heart sank slightly. Chapter 6 White You are listening at NovelFull.audio Slowly walking on the snowy path, Miao's heart was constantly pondering what her father had said to her about the secret of writing will eyes. According to my father's words, besides the three Goyu Sharingan, there is also a more powerful pupil technique called the Kaleidoscope Sharingan. Of course, he knew about the Kaleidoscope Sharingan, but at least in his past life, Huaying had watched over a hundred episodes. Although he didn't know much about it, he still knew a little. The most impressive move for him was Uchiha Itachi, who used the moon reading technique to directly defeat Kakashi, an elite ninja who also had the ability to write will eyes. He was able to pull people's spirit into the world of moon reading and freely manipulate the time and space of moon reading. The three days in the moon reading space were only equivalent to a moment in the real world, which can be said to be an unsolvable illusion. Fortunately, Kakashi had the ability to write will eyes. If an ordinary ninja were to be hit by moon reading, their spirit would collapse instantly, and even become an idiot. Even so, Kakashi was unconscious for a week and briefly lost his memory, which is a very terrifying illusion. When capturing Naruto Whirlpool, he used a single stroke of heavenly light to directly burn through the toad intestinal wall of Miyamu Mountain, which had also come out of his mind. The power was extremely terrifying, and all Miao knew about it was this. After the kaleidoscope Sharingan opened its eyes, a powerful pupillary technique would be nurtured in its eyes. According to my father, 
the left and right eyes of the kaleidoscope Sharingan each give birth to different abilities, both of which are extremely powerful pupillary techniques. However, obtaining strong pupillary power also comes at a corresponding cost. The more you use it, the more it will be sealed, which means that your eyes will go blind with the continuous use of the kaleidoscope Sharingan. In the long history of the Uchiha clan, only a few people were able to open the kaleidoscope Sharingan, none of whom were the ultimate geniuses of the Uchiha clan. Apart from the distant era that had already been lost, according to the existing literature of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Ban was the first person to open the kaleidoscope Sharingan. Miao was instantly shocked when he heard it. He never expected that the kaleidoscope Sharingan would have such a terrifying side effect, but then his father told Miao the story of the Uchiha brothers and told him about the existence of the eternal kaleidoscope Sharingan. Miao was surprised to hear that the Uchiha clan, who had been slaughtered by Uchiha Itachi alone, had so many secrets. Many of these secrets were truly shocking and truly tragic. These pieces of information about writing will eyes are considered the highest secret even among the Uchiha clan. Only the most elite members of the Uchiha clan are eligible to know about them, and ordinary people do not know about them. Even those who know a little about them are only considered legends. Even the high de ranking officials of Kiba, who have conducted extensive research on the Uchiha clan, are only vaguely aware of the existence of the legendary pupil technique known as the kaleidoscope Sharingan. The method of opening eyes is for people with the foundation of three go jade, who are stimulated by intense negative emotions. The three go jade Sharingan will undergo a mutation, and the Sharingan in their eyes will slowly connect to form a new pattern. During the mutation process, their eyes will develop unique pupil techniques, and their abilities in hypnosis, insight, and copying ninjutsu will skyrocket to an extremely terrifying level, far beyond what the three go jade Sharingan can match. Thinking about it, Miao had walked to the entrance of the village at some point. Miao. A crisp voice came to Miao's ears, and he was suddenly startled. He had been completely immersed in his thoughts just now, not even noticing anyone ahead, which made him sweat profusely. Whether in his previous life as a killer or as a ninja in this world, he must always maintain a certain level of vigilance. This is the most basic thing. Today, it was obvious that he had committed a major taboo. If the enemy had launched a surprise attack earlier, he would have probably succeeded. Taking a deep breath, Miao thought to herself, it seems like I've been at ease for too long. However, by the time she first heard this voice, Miao had already recognized its owner. Bai, with a gentle smile on his face, looked at Bai who had been standing at the village gate waiting for him like last time. At this moment, Bai looked at Miao with a displeased expression on his face and pursed his lips, saying, I really don't know what you do so early every morning when you run out. It's so mysterious. The corners of her mouth twitched slightly, and Miao didn't know what to say. She couldn't tell her that she was training as a ninja. The situation in the entire water kingdom is very tense now. Although it doesn't have a significant impact on ordinary people, it can be said that for the ninjas, there are many threats. In addition to the persecution and pursuit of bloodline families and opposition forces within the water kingdom, the investigation of foreign ninjas is also extremely strict. Without obtaining a formal ninja identity certificate, they will be regarded as spies of the enemy country and executed. Like Miao and his two father and son, they belong to the fugitive ninjas. The rebellious ninja of the fire country's Kiba dare not show any ninja characteristics in front of others here, otherwise it will attract the pursuit of Wuren. Although it is unknown what the situation is currently in Wuin village, the ninjas in the entire country are still in a state of anxiety. Hee hee, I've gone to exercise. You know, a good body is the foundation of a person's survival, and having a good spirit is very beneficial for a person's daily work. Miao Wei smiled and could only say that. Although he can be said to have complete trust in Bai, because Bai doesn't know the identities of their father and son, he is afraid that she may accidentally spill the beans. After all, Bai is only over six years old now, which is the age of innocence. Many things are unknown, 
and he doesn't have any concerns when speaking. The Bai family are Miao's neighbors. He and Bai can also be said to be close friends. Growing up together, he often sees Bai's family. His father is a simple middle-aged man who is doing small business in the market not far from the village to maintain his family. Bai's mother is a housewife, who has the same white skin and beautiful face as Bai. She is a mature and beautiful woman. Because Miao's father is not in good health, he often makes some food and rice and vegetable roll sushi for his father and son, which can be regarded as a kind of relief. Bai and Miao are also close friends. Exercise Bai looked at Miao in confusion, looking extremely cute. Miao smiled and walked up to hold Bai's soft little hand, gently saying, let's go play in the forest behind the mountain. Don't you really like that lake? Bai Wen Yen was taken aback for a moment, then threw his face into Miao's arms with joy and said excitedly, that's great. Then let's go quickly. It's been a long time since we left the village together. Miao was momentarily taken aback, and then thought to himself, so this is Bai's dissatisfaction. Didn't he take her out with him? He then smiled and said, let's go. Mmm. Bai nodded excitedly, her face full of joy and happiness, but she didn't see Miao's expression full of worries. Chapter 7 Blood Inheritance Limit You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The sky is still gloomy, without a trace of sunlight. The cold air fills every inch of the country's space, and at some point, the sky has begun to drift with white snowflakes. At this moment, Bai and Miao walked hand in hand on the path leading to the back mountain. The ground was already covered in white snow, and thick snowflakes had already piled up on the trees on both sides of the path. Miao raised her head and looked at the sky. Did it snow again? She thought to herself. Looking at Bai beside her, she still had a cheerful expression on her face. Miao smiled slightly. Miao actually loves snow very much, not only because of the beautiful scenery, but also because he can feel the value of warmth even more in colder places. People who are accustomed to the warm atmosphere are more prone to corruption in his eyes. The Uchiha clan is like this, and so is Mai. Since his father told the story of his mother and him, he has no fondness for the Kiba and Uchiha clans. Moreover, when Miao was shopping for ingredients at the market, he accidentally heard that Kiba suffered from the Nine Tails Rebellion two years ago, which ended when the leader of Kiba, the Fourth Hokage, sealed the Nine Tails. The Fourth Hokage also sacrificed himself by sealing the Nine Tails, causing countless deaths and injuries to ninjas, including civilians. The entire Kiba village suffered a great deal of damage, due to the victory in the Third Ninja War, the advantage gained was completely lost. Although it is still the largest ninja village in the ninja world in name, it is no longer worthy of its name. Yun'in and Yen'in, as defeated countries, are also eager to move forward. You deserve it. Miao couldn't help but think in her heart that she had no sympathy or pity for Mu Yi, including the Uchiha clan. I heard from my father that the pupil power of the Sharingan can control the tailed beast, but not all Sharingans can control the tailed beast. It is necessary to have Sharingan and extremely strong pupil power to achieve this. People with this level of pupil power can be said to be rare in the long history of the Uchiha clan. In Miao's opinion, everything happened for a certain reason, and Mu also suffered such a big loss. The senior management of Mu Yi will definitely investigate this matter, and the pupil power of the riding wheel eye of the Uchiha clan has the ability to manipulate the nine tails. The senior management of Mu Yi will definitely suspect this matter to the Uchiha clan. In addition, the relationship between the two sides is already not good, so the life of the Uchiha clan in Mu Yi village is probably not easy now. With a mocking thought in his heart, he immediately stopped thinking. At this moment, the front was still snow.white, with snow covering the entire forest. It had been many times since I came here, and Miao could be said to be quite familiar with it. At this moment, the two of them walked out of the forest hand in hand, and a clearing suddenly appeared in front of them. 
a pure and flawless river appeared not far from them. Although the river was already covered in white snow, many beautiful flowers covered in white snow still bloomed proudly on top of it. Obviously, the plants of the water country had adapted to the climate here. Ah! Bai saw those beautiful flowers and immediately cheered, running over with a joyful face. Miao stood behind him and watched quietly, with a hint of smile on his lips. Miao, come over quickly. Bai waved excitedly at Yi Wang, looking at the flowers on the snow. His face was filled with excitement, and a faint red glow appeared on her beautiful face due to excitement, like a fairy in a flower. Hi, hi. Miao smiled helplessly and walked over, taking a look at the happy white face and the proud blooming flowers on the snow. With a thought in her heart, she picked a white crystal like flower and gently pinned it onto Bai's beautiful hair. Bai Dun blushed and muttered softly, What are you doing, Miao? Ha ha. Bai's cute appearance immediately amused Miao and he said with a smile, Isn't that good? Bai is even more beautiful. Upon hearing Miao's praise, Bai Dun's pretty face turned even redder. However, at this moment, she seemed to remember something. She blinked at Miao and smiled, saying, Miao, I'll show you something fun. Fun things. Miao looked at Bai in confusion and couldn't help but think to herself, how could I find something interesting to a six-dot-year-dot-old child? At this moment, Bai slowly walked to the riverbank. The river had already partially frozen, and there were many white ice cubes floating in the flowing crystal clear water. Looking at the entire river gave people a feeling of relaxation and satisfaction, as if their hearts had been washed once. I saw by slowly extending his hand towards the river, and something shocking happened. The flowing river suddenly began to wriggle, and a clear and pure water flow condensed into long strips slowly rising from the river, winding and circling in the air like a snake. Then it quickly flew to Bai's hand and condensed into a transparent water ball, which looked extremely magical. How about it? Meow, it's quite fun. I just realized I have such a special ability a while ago, Bai happily said, constantly playing with the transparent water ball in his hand, appearing to be unable to put it down. Upon seeing this scene, Meow's face suddenly changed. Unconsciously, he had already opened his Sharingan, and three black Goyu appeared in his crimson pupils, staring fixedly at the water ball in his white hand. There was no binding movement, and the chakra in her body was extremely rare and unstable. It was obvious that it had only recently appeared and had not been systematically refined. There was no mistake, this is the blood inheritance limit. Miao's face was solemn, and her fist clenched tightly. Unexpectedly, Bai also carried the blood inheritance limit. Bai's father was not very like a ninja, while her mother. Silently closing his Sharingan, his eyes suddenly turned black like ink again. Miao slowly walked forward and stood behind Bai, Miao, what's wrong with you? Bai was playing happily when he suddenly noticed Miao coming behind him. He looked up at Miao in confusion and said, What's wrong, Miao? At this moment, Miao's face was extremely solemn, and he spoke slowly to Bai in a deep voice, Bai, your ability must not be known to others. Understand. Including your parents. Bai was startled when he saw Miao's solemn expression for the first time. The water ball in his hand burst and turned into a puddle of water flowing onto the ground. He stood up and said with some fear, Miao, what's wrong with you? Your face is so scary. Miao was taken aback for a moment, and then his expression relaxed. He lightly pressed his hands on Bai's shoulders and said solemnly, Remember what I said, your ability must not be discovered by others. Only the two of us know, understand. I beg you. Seeing Miao's appearance, Bai Dun nodded hard and said, Hmm, I understand. Although I don't know the reason, I believe in Miao. Upon hearing Bai's words, Miao smiled gently and held Bai in her arms, gently speaking, Thank you, Bai. No matter what happens, I will protect you. Mmm. Bai blushed and nodded shyly, but just then, touch. A faint sound entered the ears of the two. Upon hearing this sound, 
Miao's face suddenly changed dramatically. Chapter 8 Discoveries You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Who? Miao's eyes suddenly became extremely sharp. He turned around like lightning and blocked by from behind, staring fixedly in the direction of the forest behind him. The commotion just now came from somewhere. However, upon seeing Miao, she suddenly became dumbfounded. She saw a woman standing in the grass not far behind her, with a fair and delicate face and soft long hair that draped over her shoulders. She was a mature and beautiful woman, who was Bai's mother. However, at this moment, Bai's mother couldn't believe it and looked at Bai behind Miao, tightly covering her mouth. The bamboo basket she was holding had fallen to the ground at some point, and compared to the sound she had just made, it was coming from here. It's Aunt Shunzi. Oh no, she must have seen Bai's blood following the limit just now. Miao was startled in her heart. Looking at Shunzi's expression, she knew that everything just now was being seen. Mother. Bai Gang was initially startled, but when he saw it was his own mother, he cheered happily and ran towards Shunzi, shouting happily, Mother, why did you come? Did you see it? Just now. Hey hey, I just said I shouldn't be known by others. Miao's mouth twitched, his face a bit helpless, but fortunately it's Bai's mother. If it's a stranger, Miao will take action to kill him. This secret must not be leaked now, otherwise it may attract Wu Ren's pursuit. However, Miao was also secretly afraid in her heart. She had just been too concerned about Bai's blood inheritance limit, causing someone behind her to come unnoticed. It's too careless. This is already the second time. Does a comfortable life make people slow? Miao warned herself secretly in her heart. At this moment, Bai had already run up to Shunzi, with a flushed face full of excitement. Because his mother usually had to work at home, she had very little time to play with Bai, so seeing her mother come here made Bai so happy. At this moment, Miao also showed a hint of smile. But what greeted Bai was not the usual mother's caress, but a fair palm. Pa, a crisp sound echoed through the quiet riverbank, appearing particularly piercing. Snowflakes were still slowly falling from the sky, and the sound of the river flowing was incessant. At this moment, Miao looked at the mother and daughter not far away with a shocked expression. Bai was also stunned, and a red palm print had appeared on her fair little face at some point. Bai. Miao's face changed and she rushed over to protect Bai behind her. At this moment, Bai's small face was filled with a gloomy expression, tears rolling in her eyes at some point. Miao looked at the woman in front of her with a nervous expression and said, Shunzi auntie, listen to me explain what happened just now. Bai is just playful and has no other meaning. But Shunzi seemed to have completely ignored Miao's words, just muttered to himself with a sorrowful expression and a dull expression, why, why did Bai inherit such a bloodline? Why is it like this? Our mother and daughter just want a peaceful life. By the time she said this, Shunzi was already crying uncontrollably. Seeing his mother's appearance, Bai immediately stepped forward to support her crying mother and whispered, Mother, what's wrong with you? Don't cry anymore, okay? It's all Bai's fault. Don't do this. As he spoke, Bai also burst into tears. Miao watched silently beside him. Of course, he knew why Shunzi was like this. In the Water Kingdom, the blood inheritance limit represents sin and a symbol of curse. Under the policies and brainwashing of the fourth Hokage, the blood inheritance limit is the source of disaster and must be eradicated. This concept has been deeply rooted in the hearts of ordinary people in the water country. Once Bai is discovered to possess the blood inheritance limit, it will lead to a fatal disaster. As if calming down, Shunzi silently wiped away the tears on her face and looked at Bai with extreme seriousness. She slowly spoke up, Bai, don't tell anyone about your ability, including your father, do you know? Hmm. Bai nodded and said softly, Miao had already told me earlier, don't let anyone know about this. Upon hearing Bai's words, Shunzi looked at Miao with some surprise. 
Miao also nodded with a smile. Seeing Miao's expression, Shunzi smiled and said, Thank you, Miao. If I don't come here today and you're not here, the consequences will be unimaginable. I just hope Bai can live a peaceful life. Thank you for always protecting Bai. I understand, Aunt Shunzi, I won't tell anyone about this, Miao nodded lightly and solemnly promised. I'm sorry, a relative of Bai's father came to our house today and asked Bai to hurry back, so we can't play with you anymore. Shunzi looked apologetically at Miao and said softly. It's okay, family is the most important. Aunt Bai and Shunzi should go back quickly. The provincial uncles are worried, Miao said with a smile. Hmm, Miao, see you tomorrow. His eyes were filled with reluctance as he looked at Miao standing behind him, revealing a sweet smile. See you tomorrow. Miao also gently waved his hand at Bai, watching as the figure of Bai's mother and son slowly disappeared onto the snowy path. Gradually, the smile on Miao's face converged, revealing a hint of solemnity. Indeed, it is true that the white blood inherited from his mother through the boundary, and it has just awakened. It is quite dangerous to continue like this. If no one teaches her how to control it, she will eventually be discovered. Miao's mind was very heavy. As long as ninjutsu is not imprinted or activated, chakra will not be activated. It is almost impossible to see what kind of ninjutsu a ninja will have just by looking at its appearance, but the blood inheritance limit is different. It is inherited from the bloodline, and if not controlled, it can be manifested in some daily behaviors. Moreover, the white blood inheritance limit should still be preliminarily awakened. As the blood inheritance limit awakens more and more thoroughly, the corresponding control skills requirements will also be higher. This is also what Miao is worried about. Bai's mother, Aunt Shunzi, is not a ninja. Just now, after their mother and son turned around, he used his Sharingan to observe that Aunt Shunzi's body is not a trace of chakra, it should be a descendant of a bloodline limited family, but it does not have the potential to become a ninja, can she teach Bai to control the blood inheritance limit? Chapter 9 Spiral Pills You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the gloomy sky, snowflakes slowly drift down, and it's another snowy day, but for people living here, it's already commonplace. It has been a week since Bai's blood inheritance limit was discovered by her mother last time, and nothing happened during this week. Everything went as usual, which made Miao feel relieved. You know, Miao has been completely alert for this week. Once someone discovers Bai's blood inheritance limit, Miao will immediately take action. On a secluded grassland on the back mountain of the small village, Miao stood quietly in black short sleeves, holding a bag containing many balloons. He was ready to practice spiral pills. When watching anime in my past life, I watched over a hundred episodes, and of course, I also watched the process of teaching Naruto Spiral Maru to Jiraiya, so I naturally know how to cultivate this kind of ninjutsu. When he first refined his chakra, his father had already tested his chakra attributes with a chakra test paper, which were wind and fire. This is already very rare. It should be noted that most people only show one attribute when they first refine their chakra, and only cultivate the second attribute after their strength has increased to a certain level. Just as chakra was extracted, people who exhibit two or more attributes have extraordinary talents. Of course, it does not mean that those who exhibit one attribute have poor talents. It can only be said that those who exhibit two attributes have talents, but geniuses may not necessarily exhibit dual attributes. According to Zuraya in the original work, Spiral Ball is an imprintless ninjutsu developed by the fourth generation Hokage. Its principle is similar to that of Orokima, which concentrates chakras on the hand, condenses them in a small area, and the huge tearing force generated by high dot speed rotation destroys the enemy. It forms a chakra ball the size of a palm to attack the opponent. Once hit, it can not only damage the surface, but also destroy the enemy's interior, it is a powerful ninjutsu that maximizes the transformation of chakra form. Without the need for a seal, 
it can be instantly activated with immense power and is a very practical ninjutsu. In the early stages of the original work, Naruto even used this technique to unexpectedly defeat the subordinate pharmacist Do of Orochimaru. Although it was due to Do's carelessness, it should be noted that Do and Kakashi are at the same level of upper ninjutsu. If it weren't for his carelessness, Naruto's three-legged skills could have hit Do. Moreover, in the early stages, Naruto did not fully unleash the true power of the spiral pill. The second most powerful aspect is the abundance of powerful ninjutsu, and there is no shortage of spiral pills. The most terrifying aspect of this ninjutsu is that it does not require a seal, and it is almost difficult to react to enemies when they are close to each other. Being hit is either fatal or injurious, especially for ninjas with fast coordination speed, it is simply a perfect match. Naruto is unable to use the spiral pill with one hand and needs a shadow clone to assist in condensing chakra. The speed of using the spiral pill is too slow, and the movement is too obvious. Under normal circumstances, it is impossible to hit a person. If it were not for relying on the shadow clone to lure the enemy, his spiral pill would be very weak. In Miao's opinion, it would be more practical to use a painless hand to wipe the enemy's neck, even ordinary ninjas cannot casually cast shadow clones like Naruto, because few people have the terrifying chakra like Naruto. But the reason why Miao chose to practice this ninjutsu was also because he saw its practicality. The power was secondary, and the key was that there was no need for seals. It should be noted that the battles between ninjas can be described as fleeting, and the less time it takes to seal, the better. Powerful enemies will not give you extra time to seal. Another reason is that Miao currently lacks powerful ninjutsu attacks. He does not have strong enough physical attack methods. Apart from the powerful fire escape, although Miao has mastered the ordinary fire escape ninjutsu and sword art of the Uchiha clan very proficiently, they are still good for dealing with ordinary ninjas, but not enough for dealing with ninjas at the ninja level or those with special abilities. Although his Sharingan has evolved to Sangoyu, it cannot be exposed because he currently does not have enough strength to protect himself. If it attracts the gaze of some powerful ninjas, it will be troublesome, especially Kiba and Uchiha. It should be noted that although the Water Kingdom is closed, Kiba must have spies and spies here, and he dare not gamble. Moreover, this is the Water Kingdom, and ninjas with blood inheritance limits are taboo, it is the target of pursuit. Moreover, the amount of chakra consumed by Sharingan is extremely high. Although his current chakra is comparable to that of Nakano, it is not much for ninjas who possess Sharingan, and they have no capital to indulge in extravagance. According to Zillai, the spiral pill is still an unfinished ninjutsu, which is only the ultimate form change, but it has not yet incorporated any property changes. However, this is still too far away for the present. The first step in cultivating the spiral pill is to condense the chakra into the palm of the hand. The first step is quite simple for ordinary ninjas, but from the second step onwards, it tests the practitioner's chakra control ability. Under the guidance of his father, he has already completed the training of chakra control. The second step is the evolutionary version of the first step, which requires stable and continuous release of chakras. For example, Placing a water-filled balloon in your hand and releasing the chakra causes the water inside the balloon to move irregularly until it explodes. Miao also went to the market to buy a bag of balloons for this purpose. This step tests chakra's control, but the third step is even more difficult, requiring a stronger ball as a tool. Not only does it need to continuously and stably release chakra and materialize it until the ball is broken, but the spiral pill in this stage can already cause damage, but its power is extremely small. The spiral pill that Kakashi demonstrated to Naruto in the original work is of this level. The final step is to combine everything in front of it, condense chakra in the palm of your hand, continuously release and maintain it, and finally solidify it to form a small typhoon that constantly rotates and is extremely powerful. This is the complete spiral pill, which is vastly different from the spiral pill in the third step. In the third step, the power is dispersed, while in this step, 
the power of the spiral pill is completely compressed inside the sphere, the explosive power is extremely terrifying. After understanding everything, Miao let out a soft sigh and then looked firmly at her palm, let's start. Chapter 10 Mist Tolerance You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. On the bustling market, pedestrians are rushing, and the sound of vendors on both sides of the street is incessant. Various seafood snacks are dazzling. Although the atmosphere of the water country is very oppressive, especially in this tense moment, people still have to live, and even the necessities of life are indispensable. Therefore, the place that should be lively is still very lively. At this moment, in front of a fish shop, there were two people standing, one of whom was a handsome little boy about eight or nine years old. He had black hair and black pupils, and his black bangs faintly covered his right eye. He was wearing a black kimono and was communicating with the owner of the fish shop. Beside him stood a beautiful girl, wearing a pure white winter coat tightly draped over her petite body, appearing exceptionally cute. Okay, let's do it this way. You should come to me first next time, little one, said the boss with a kind smile on his face, and then he put the money into the boy's hand. Thank you, Miao said with a smile, then took the money into her arms and turned to look at the girl staring at her with a smile, saying, bye, let's go. Mm. The girl smiled and looked at the boy gently. The two of them slowly left the fish shop and walked towards the front of the market. It was Bai and Miao who had been two years since the last time Bai's bloodline was discovered. Afterwards, it seemed that Bai's mother, Aunt Shunzi, also taught by some things, so even though her bloodline gradually awakened, she seemed unable to fully control it, but she was not discovered. However, although Miao, who was walking with Bai now, had a smile on his face, his heart was a bit heavy. At that time, he had already remembered some things, which were Bai's identity, the blood inheritance limit related to water, the water country, and the snowy village. When these things were connected, he instantly remembered the ghost person who appeared at the beginning of the plot, under the hands of the undead, and the young man who could use the ice shield blood inheritance limit, the name is also called Bai. If everything goes well, Bai's blood succession boundary will still be discovered, while her father will kill her mother and eventually lead a group of villagers to kill Bai. Fortunately, in the end, Bai's blood succession boundary erupted and killed all her father, including the villagers who surrounded her, before being taken in as a tool. Although Bai's mother seems to know some methods to control the blood inheritance limit, Bai has not been taught about the blood inheritance limit system. As the awakening of the blood inheritance limit increases, the requirements for control also become higher, making it increasingly difficult for Bai to control. Eventually, it will be exposed. The last thing is Miao's father. In the past two years, his health has been getting worse and worse. Although he said he was okay, his increasingly pale face and frequent coughing of blood can tell how bad his condition is. According to him, he fled with his pregnant mother for nearly a year, constantly resisting the pursuers of Kiba and repelling all the pursuers. However, he was also seriously injured, and his injuries were left behind at that time. Moreover, his father did not know how to treat ninjutsu, which led to the deterioration of his injuries. Now, his health is also deteriorating. My. Miao slowly clenched his fist, and the hatred in his eyes flashed away. Today, Miao came out to purchase some rice. He exchanged some fish caught in the river and the fur of some animals for money, and then went to purchase rice. For so many years, their family has relied on this for a living. Because their father is rebellious and his health is not good enough to travel, Miao naturally took on these responsibilities. I walked to a shop on the east side of the market, bought a bag of rice with the money I exchanged, held it in my hand, and walked out of the shop with Bai, preparing to return to the village. However, at this moment, the street suddenly began to bustle, and many pedestrians in the market seemed to have suddenly discovered something terrifying and quickly avoided it. They stood cautiously on both sides of the street and kept whispering. Seeing this scene, Miao quickly took Bai's hand and stood beside the street with the flow of people. He didn't want to cause any trouble now. 
In the distance of the street, a group of people slowly walked over. Seeing these people, Miao's eyes narrowed slightly. This group of people does have a reason that ordinary people cannot avoid, because they all have a ninja forehead protector with four raindrops on it, which is the symbol of the ninjas in the Misty Hidden Village. The ninjas in Misty Hidden Village are also famous for their cold dot blooded and ruthless behavior, no wonder ordinary people are so afraid. The leader of this group of people was a middle dot aged man with a sword on his back, gray short hair, and a cold gaze like a cannibal beast. A terrifying murderous aura emanated from his entire body, and the group of people behind him were also his brothers with a cold face, giving people a strong sense of solemnity. When the group of people walked somewhere, the civilians on both sides of the street were frightened and took several steps back, looking at the group with a fearful expression. At this moment, by behind Miao was already hiding behind him. He grabbed Miao's back and trembled, gently patting Bai's hand. Miao smiled and patted Bai's hand, saying, Don't worry, no matter what happens, I will protect you. Upon hearing Miao's words, Bai's trembling body gradually calmed down. At this moment, the group of foggy ninjas had already walked to the center of the street where Miao and Bai were located, as if they were talking about something. Miao took a slight step with his right foot to completely block Bai from behind, and his expression was also frightened. Several ninjas couldn't help but sneer at Miao's appearance. The sarcastic tone on his face was self-evident, so he ignored it and turned his head to continue the conversation. As the group of people walked away, everyone on the street slowly exhaled a breath, and many wiped the cold sweat off their foreheads. Slowly, various voices of conversation kept rising one after another. At this moment, there was no sign of panic on Miao's face, and her eyes were calm as water. Previously, it was just for those people to see. If an eight- or nine-year-old ghost had no unusual expression when facing their group of murderous ninjas, that would be so annoying. Watching the group of people disappear, Miao's face showed a hint of contemplation. Although it was a bit far away, when they passed by Miao just now, Miao heard a clear word. Rebels.